Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Christy. And I'm Sharla, and we are super excited about today. We are. I think the stars aligned for us to do this yes, one today. Totally. All the, all the planets were all lined up. There was some um, Aurora Borealis happening because something. Because like, we're doing beef strips. Yeah, so we have been getting questions about could you guys do more recipes with beef strips and so it's actually been it's come up a few times yeah and, and so it's been in the works for a while and then I was at the store yesterday and I really went for something else I went to go buy some steak and fill up my water bottles and while I was over at the steak I saw beef strips were buy one get one free 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 and so 50% off. off right there and so I texted Sharla, I took a picture of the thing and I'm like, this is on until the end of the week. We need to do freezer strips or beef strips now. And so I sent it to her and she got her brain cooking and we... We came up with 10, 10, 10 different recipes. 10 different recipes for beef strips. And we're gonna show them all to you right it's now. So good. Ah. And like, if you can get, the other thing is like with 50% off, is amazing. Of your protein, of your meat, like of beef. It's amazing. But if you can only buy two packs because that's all you can use that week, like it doesn't help you that much. Right. But if you're doing freezer meals, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a link right there to a video on how freezer meals save you money, but also on how you can save even more money using some of our tips for shopping mm -hmm. so that your grocery bills go, which is very good. Uh, but like, Normally, if they're on sale, you can only buy a few packs because you can only use that much before they go bad. But if you're doing freezer meals, you can make a whole bunch. And then months, you've got beef strips for months, and it and the go savings bad. really add up because how much how much beef do you think we really got, and how much did we really pay? Yeah, it, like well, I know that it averaged out. So I bought some extra packs and then bulked these up a little bit and kind of spread those packs they went, out over not all create uh, Not all packs were created equal. Right. They, some packs were less. So it averaged out to less than $4 per meal, like of the protein that we're mm -hmm. doing. And again, we're in Canada, so, you know, prices are prices higher. Prices are a little higher. But, but it, this is like amazing low. prices. Yes. So we had been thinking about doing the beef strips people have been asking for us to do the beef strips and, and lo and behold you what you want. <laughs> i go to the grocery store and beef strips are half price and i'm like charlotte we're doing beef strips yep so i Here swung by the grocery store and uh picked up you know and i i didn't totally buy them out because i thought that wouldn't be very nice but right. it got a lot of beef strips got a lot of beef strips. so today we are making for you all kinds we've got lots of variety we're excited Gonna it's be gonna really be great. Good. And there was some other prep that we had to do for these. Like we, you know, had to chop some veggies, but it wasn't a ton of prep because a lot of these, like the beef is the star. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of marinades and a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in them. They're complex and delicious. They are, yeah. But it's gonna but go together to pretty simply. Yeah. Yeah, it'll so, be great. Let's get to it. Let's get started. Right now I'm going to do beef and broccoli. We start out with our beef stir fry strips in the bag, five cups of broccoli florets. Today we're using frozen because in this case they were actually cheaper than the regular broccoli. Uh, low sodium soy sauce. And when we say low sodium in something, we mean low sodium. It's because the meal itself can be quite salty with the soy sauce. So if it says that in one of our recipes, um, we advise that you actually use that. If you like things really salty, go ahead and try it, but you might not find the flavor that you're looking for. We put in some garlic and honey, brown sugar, sesame oil, rice vinegar, ginger, we like the squeezy tubes of ginger, salt and pepper, and a little bit of cayenne for a kick. And then we're gonna mix these all together and you wanna make sure that you take out that excess air. If you don't know, that is where you get your freezer burden from. So you take great care when you're closing this up to make, get rid of all the air. And then on the day of cooking, you're gonna line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and using a slotted spoon, you're just gonna put all of this, all of the beef on, and the broccoli on the cookie sheet and bake at 425 for 10 to 12 minutes. While you are 
cooking your beef and broccoli, you want to take that reserved sauce from the bag, put it on the stove, add a little bit of cornstarch and, and some water, and make a nice slurry with the cornstarch and water, add it in, and thicken it up a little bit and cook it. So when your beef and broccoli is done, you can put that on the serving plate and then drizzle the sauce on top and then sprinkle some green onions and a little bit of sesame seeds. And this is a delicious dish. And it's nice that it's a sheet pan meal. It's awesome that it's a sheet pan meal. Here's a tip for you. People often asked us, how do you do it so that the bags don't stick together when they're all laying flat? The key is to keep them dry. So you'll notice that I just spent a bit of time there wiping up a little spill that I had. We need to keep the outside of the bag dry so that the labels stick, but also when you put them in the freezer, they don't freeze together. They don't form that little layer of ice in between. This one is a little bit tricky though, because the broccoli in it is frozen. And so it does create some condensation on the bag. So the trick is to get it into the freezer right away. Um, and, but generally we don't have too much problem with them sticking together. We are doing Korean barbecue beef. It's very interesting. We've done it before. And so we've got our pack of stir fry strips in the bag. Then we are going to blend a can of pears that have been drained, some ginger, garlic, soy sauce, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, and sesame oil into a sauce. Now I know that sounds super strange. I mean, we're blending pears with Asian ingredients. It's just an odd thought, but it's actually really delicious. So we're making this sauce and then we're just gonna pour the sauce onto the beef strips in the bag the day that you serve this, you're gonna slice some green onions, sprinkle that on top. Um, this can be cooked in the slow cooker or in the skillet. You can serve it on like in a rice bowl or in kind of a strange taco. Last time we did this, we actually used kimchi on the day that we served it and that really punched it up. You can do a slaw and you can add some spicy mayo. So this makes a really interesting rice bowl or Korean barbecue beef taco. Christy just went home to grab something, but she's gonna be so proud of me for using spatula to get the last of this sauce out of here. <laughs> Next, I'm doing the Mongolian beef. This has long been a recipe that we often choose for our mega sessions because it's super fast to put together and really flavorful. So you've got your beef strips in the bag, you're gonna add ginger, garlic, soy sauce, water, brown sugar, carrots that are in matchsticks, so we did that in our prep, and then some sliced green onions. This is another recipe that on the day that you go to cook it, you're gonna add some cornstarch into your sauce. Now, we have a good reason for not adding cornstarch in today, because when you add cornstarch into your freezer meals, the sauce will separate and it just doesn't freeze and thaw well. So if you wait and add the cornstarch on the day of cooking, then everything is exactly the texture that it should be and everything's all good to go. So for this one, on the day that you make it, you're gonna thaw it, heat it in a skillet, add that cornstarch into the sauce as it's cooking and serve it over rice. You can sprinkle it with some more sliced green onions if you want. Now, these meals cook up so fast, this one, like for that beef to cook because it's sliced thinly, you're talking like five to 10 minutes tops. So dinner on a plate in a hurry. I'm really excited about this one. It is ginger beef, which I don't know if we've done on a video before. Um, it's been a long, if we've done it, it's been a long time since we've done it. So I'm glad to have this one back in the rotation. Um, we're gonna start with our beef strips and we're gonna add um, some onion, thinly sliced, some 
garlic cloves, ginger, beef broth, and some soy sauce. This one is super easy to put together and you'll just cook it in your slow cooker. Cook on low for three to five hours and you could serve it on rice or some noodles or in a stir fry with some other vegetables, however you like, and it is going to taste delicious. You can find most of our recipes in the Freezer Meals 101 Club. We're gonna put the link down below. The great thing about the club is that if you do find a sale on something like stir fry strips, mm -hmm. you can go in there and just click a little button for all the beef recipes or all the chicken recipes or all the ground beef or all the, like whatever it is you found the sale on. Yes. You can click that protein button or you can do a search by keyword or whatever and it'll just filter you out all the recipes and then just click Pick the ones you want it's so and create easy. your shopping list. It's so easy. It creates your shopping list. You can click a little button that'll include the prep that you yeah. are required to do in your shopping list so you know if you need diced onions or sliced onions and how many. And what else makes it awesome? Oh, that you can customize the shopping list. You can add toilet it, paper. You can cross off hot sauce. You can change the servings. So you can change if, the serving. If you're wanting to double these recipes, triple these recipes, or half them, or just make them for one. Like, you can change the serving sizes. Totally adaptable to whatever you want. You can be in charge of your own freezer meals, but we've done all the legwork so that it's easy for you to do. So please check out the Freezer Meals 101 Club because that is where your dreams will come true. <laughs> True stories. <laughs> For the beef curry, we've got, again, our beef stir fry strips. Then you're doing some chopped onion, red and yellow peppers, and then a can of diced tomatoes, curry paste, sugar, and some heavy cream. When you're doing freezer cooking, milk doesn't freeze well, so if you use heavy cream in its place, then the sauce all stays together and doesn't separate when thawing, so you just have that nice, rich sauce. On the day that you cook this one, you can cook it um, just on your skillet, on your stovetop, which you can get it done really, really quickly, or you can cook it in the slow cooker on low for four to six hours. This one is really nice on rice, but we've also done it as a wrap in flour tortillas, and my kids really like it that way. This is the Make Ahead Beef Fajitas Freezer Meal. We're starting with the stir fry strips, we're adding a sliced onion, red and yellow peppers that have been sliced, a cup of salsa, lime juice, and Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna add everything into the bag, remove that excess air and seal it up and then freeze it flat. And then on the day of cooking, you just wanna do it in the skillet, um, fairly high heat right on your stove top and just go until your meat is cooked through. Everything else is sliced so thinly that it'll be just perfect tender crisp when that meat is done and the lime gives it a nice kick and the Worcestershire sauce gives it some depth. You want to serve it in flour tortillas and just your regular fixings that you would normally have, like sour cream, more salsa, some shredded cheese, cilantro if that is your thing, and um, I think you need to have guacamole. Because guacamole. Because guacamole. This meal is the beef stir fry bag. Super simple and super flavorful and you're gonna love it because it's very colorful. You start with your beef strips in your bag. We're using frozen broccoli today and red and yellow peppers that have been sliced so they cook quickly. Onion that's sliced again for that quick cook. Minced garlic, some pepper, dry mustard powder, oyster sauce, soy sauce, orange juice, and water. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. You're gonna put all of these in here squeeze out the air, mix it around good, and, and put it in your freezer after you seal it up. On the day of cooking, you wanna thaw it, and then you wanna add in some cornstarch to thicken the sauce. You can put it in with a little bit of water first to make a slurry, and then add it in. Um, or if you put it in when it's very cold still, it should mix in properly with because there's a, 
enough liquid in here that it should mix in properly without having to add water. You just have to do it when it's cold. And then you want to just cook it up and serve it over noodles or rice. We're going to do another stir fry. This one will taste quite different from the other one though, so it'll be a nice change. We're going to do a teriyaki stir fry because teriyaki and beef go really well together. So we're just actually using a jarred teriyaki sauce. We do homemade teriyaki sauces lots of the time, but today we're all about getting this done quick. So we're just gonna do the teriyaki sauce, some onion, carrots, and sliced mushrooms in with our beef strips. We're also gonna add some garlic because, you know, garlic, and we have it. So this should make a really simple meal that you can quick up quick as can be and serve it on rice or noodles. This recipe is barbecue beef on a bun. We're going to start out with our beef, add some onion and some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, and your favorite barbecue sauce. We're going to do almost a full bottle. And on the day of cooking, you want to put it in the slow cooker and get that meat nice and tender because then you can scoop it onto your bun and you can add some coleslaw if you wanted, kind of like a pulled pork sandwich, or you could serve it with some brown beans, or honestly, this would be really great with some mashed potatoes. If you've been watching our videos for a while, then you may know that one of our favorite freezer meals is ground beef stroganoff. Today, we are changing it up a bit and we are doing beef stroganoff with the beef strips, of course. Now, this recipe is different from our regular beef stroganoff recipe, more than just changing out the type of beef we're using. We're adding some chopped onion, mushrooms. It calls for one cup of mushrooms, but we both really like mushrooms, and if you're gonna do a stroganoff, you might as well go all in. So we're doing like a cup and a half or maybe even a cup and three quarters of the sliced mushrooms. Then we've got some beef broth, half a cup, and half a cup of softened cream cheese before we add some basil and parsley. On the day that you cook this up, you're going to cook it in the skillet and serve it over, well, we feel like beef stroganoff should always be served over egg noodles. So that's how we'd recommend you serving it, but if you want to, you could always do it over rice or any other kind of noodle if you feel differently than we do about the whole egg noodle being the best thing for beef stroganoff thing. There you have it, stroganoff with beef strips. Boy, have we been at it. We got a lot done today. We got a lot done today. Super quick. 10 different recipes so we have a lot of variety mm -hmm. and even though they're all beef strips you can see how much you can do with just that one protein and mm -hmm. when you're working with one protein at a time things go so fast so much faster that's what we learned after years of doing freezer <laughs> meals we've been doing this for 10 years if you're new here we have been doing this for 10 years we know everything about freezer meals Pretty much. Pretty much. We so, know a lot about oh, freezer meals. Oh, if you're new, click the subscribe button. Please, because, please know. subscribe. We want to see you again. You want to see us again. It's a thing. And if you don't know, we have a Facebook page. We have a Facebook group that is the nicest group on the planet. So sweet. And it's got a lot of experienced freezer meal cookers in there. Yep. Every question gets answered and everybody is kind and it is a very nice place to be. And there's the membership club. And... Those are all the ways that you can be with us and be like us and do the things. So that you can have your freezer look like what our freezer looks like, which is pretty impressive. It saves our sanity. It does save our sanity. Oh my goodness. Um, but yes, there is so much you can do with beef strips and they're all fast. Not all. Some of them are slow cooker, but they're putting easy. them together was super fast. Putting them together was fast. And on slow cooker days, you know that you like slow cooker days when you can get it together and because yeah. supper is waiting for you. And when, most of these are like in, if they're a skillet, they're like 10 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. So by the time your rice is cooked, like this is done. And 
these are fairly they they'll they're fairly flat yeah. so they will actually thaw quickly if you're the day that you forget to take something out totally. this is what you take out because you're like okay i can this can be ready to go in an hour and we can yeah, we can get this thaw going fast it'll thaw fast and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your freezer so there's a lot of reason to like the beef, beef strips, strips. <laughs> and they're delicious so there's that and there's vegetables like it's it's a thing yeah it's a whole they're great ah oh, i'm so glad that we did this so thank you for joining us today. This was unexpected for us because we just had, the sale was yesterday. So we were just deciding Bam. yesterday, like we're doing beef strips. We're doing beef strips. <laughs> but it was like, it came together great. And now hopefully we've given you lots of ideas for you to make your own beef strip freezer meals at home. I'm gonna put a video right there to um, ways to save on your freezer meals or other grocery shopping mm -hmm. just to help you out. Thanks for joining us today and happy cooking.